show, but I, 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 I voted. I, 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 when I found out that old Eisenhower was going to veto the federal pay raise, I voted against it, and then I voted to sustain his veto. But I'm not going to just sacrifice myself needlessly when the, when the president's going to sign the bill. Well, now, are you ready to vote against this military pay and civilian pay if I veto them? Yes, sir. If you do, the both of them. Yeah. Now, what about, both of them, what about the health, what about health education bills? Five hundred million in that. I just didn't pound that. I voted against it, but right. that, if I, if you, you don't realize the power you've got as president down there. If you just didn't pound that and say, well, we can't, we can't. What about it, the, right? what about the impacted school bill? Two hundred million. I'd leave that alone. I wouldn't fool with that. That's part of this uh, school system in this country, and that's been fifty years. So yes, wrong. but a third of it goes to I the rich know, people. It's all wrong. It, 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 it's it, goes, it goes. It's not to the poor districts. It's, it's out to these goddamn place districts where they got well, the got. districts where the people who have the highest per capita well, income. Alexander and Arlington get a third of it. That's right. It's just well, outrageous. If you just didn't pound the third of it, you'll get away with it. And then and you won't let a school district and you won't lose more than 15, 20,000 votes over the country. And uh, what about uh, what about agriculture? You got 500 million in the House bill over there. Well, I haven't studied that carefully. I don't know what to do. That school lunch program, you, 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 you uh, can't get away with that. You're going to have to keep that going like it is now. You know, uh, the thing that, that, that caused our trouble over the REA has got 150 million. Are you going to go with REA or the power company? I'm not going to either one. I'm, I'm not well, we got to vote for the administration. We got, well, I got an REA bill up there. It creates a bank. I'm it makes them quit this that. 2%. I'm going to support that. Makes them quit no, this. Oh, hell, you ain't got that 2% in there. No, I got 2% just for the poor ones until the uh, transition period. No, oh, oh, that's too low. I oh, didn't know I, that. I thought, I thought there was REA bill had the 2% in there. Well, I tell you, the REA has got the, we both got 2%, but one of them wanted longer than mine. Mine cuts it off, and mine. I vote for the administration bill, but I don't think you ought to have 2% at all. I think it's ridiculous. That's just for the these poor co-ops. Uh, these are co-ops are making more money than anybody now. Down in my state, they're paying the managers 27500 a year. All of them that can do. All of them can do it. They they pay the regular rate. Everybody, not only the insolvent ones, they get the low rate. Only the poor. All I'm interested in, though, if if, if uh, they're not many, but all uh, they're few in the United States. But uh, all I'm interested in is your viewpoint, whether it's public power, or whether you're for the REA, or the power companies are fighting us now. I'm not either one of them. Well, I'm I in the middle. The REA is going too far on that side, and I, and I know the power company is going too far That's on that. That's what I'm But they, uh, power I'm companies have come up there. That's sort of a, a, a middle ground. That's what I've got. That's what I've got. And the power companies won't do it, though. And well, uh, we, can make the REA? we can make them do it. We can make them do it. They won't have any choice. Well, we'll rip the hell out of them out of the power companies. Yeah, that's what we've got to do. So but I wouldn't give the, uh, the REA too much because they they in good shape, Mr. President. I'm they're not giving. Money. I'm not giving them much. We're the I'm, I'm the original. REA they are opposing. Right. They are opposing me. You I see. fought for the REA when they, they sent it to oh. me. They said I was crazy. I used to go and get you to well, put in 200 million at a time when I was in the house. Yes, you sir, forgot I still it. fought, but they but they but they they are all flourishing now. They they they're doing well. Isn't everybody doing well? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Are you scared about well. Are you scared about inflation? Well, yes, I think all of us have some concern about it, don't you? Every economist I've got tells me we've got to have a tax bill. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't either. Unemployment's I don't going agree up with that, to about. I must say I'm concerned about inflation. I Unemployment's going up to three, nine, four percent now. But I, but I wouldn't. Uh, I well, wouldn't. they say that's the only way to drain it off. They say that we can't cut the expenditure. I thought you and Dirksen would uh, have an agreement, and you'd deliver the Southerners, he'd deliver the Republicans. And I told Henry Fowler to go talk to both of you, and that you keep the, the budget down, uh, keep the Senate bills down to what the budget called for, and take it out. Can you do all you, that? you may have to take some of it out in the poverty. You may have to foreign aid. You may have to take it, but just just don't put anything in unless you take it out some other place. The budget's 112 billion. That's a hell of a lot of money. That's a hell of a big budget, it sure is. But don't tell me that we ought to cut. We can't have control, so we got to cut expenditures or put a tax bill in and take off this surplus. 
because we we overheat. Well, we have uh, eventually. I don't know about right now. Well, I'm hoping that I can do it. I, th I think you are eventually going to have to do one. I'm hoping that I can do it in January, but I was hoping you all could kind of hold things until then. Well, I'm going to work to cut a lot of it. And if, and if you can get any organized opposition but to this uh, pay raise, no. on and you can't, you can't, you can't get it. You can't but, get it. But, but, but if you're going to raise civilian, you've got to raise the army. That's right, and you can't do it. You can't get any opposition either, and you can't get into health education. I can cut out. Uh, well, there's there. too much money in that health education bill. I agree with you. But it's, you know what it is, $200 million of it's impacted school. That's the first. It's got $400-odd million in it, 200 of it's impacted school. Well, they put too much in there, uh, or at least they're going to in the Senate. I don't know what to do with the House bill. I haven't checked it, but they're going to put too much in there for this medical research. Yes, yes they, they haven't got the people to do the work. They have. They've got too much for nearly everything. They, we're spending, we appropriate about $10 billion more for health and education than we did when I became president. And uh, that's going fast enough. That's too fast enough. Too fast. You haven't got the scientists to, to, to handle this community action program of poverty is a wasteful thing. You ought to cut it out. It's, it's a, terrible. It's a dangerous thing, too. These folks are liable to... It is terrible, and, and they, 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 the way they handle it, uh, it's just like that they, they got a gift from on high and then they no accounting for it. And all what, do you, what, do you, what do you think about the election? How many seats do you think they're going to lose now? The House? About 28. My <coughs> boys say that we're going to pick up 8 or 10, going to lose 10 or 12. Well, I think you'll lose about 27 or 8 seats in the House, and I don't think you'll lose anything in the Senate. Won't we gain a little? Yeah, you may gain one or two in the Senate. You've got, you got too big of a majority in the House. It's not My poll is dropping like hell, though. I've got to, I, I've got to, I had to, the last gallop, I had exactly what Eisenhower had when he beat Stevenson 52 uh, in the election. He won by 55%. I had 55. I've been so high. Everybody said you get 55 is terrible. It dropped from 55 to 47. On uh, what? That's uh, that's uh, eight points since the last poll, just the last three or four weeks. On what? On uh, how I'm doing my job as president. You're doing a good job. Yeah. There's 30, 30. Uh, I believe there's 40 some odd that disapprove. No, there's 30, 36 or seven that disapprove of the job I'm doing, and only 45, only 47 are approved. Well, half of that is uh, parts of your poverty program. These uh, camps are causing you, they're hurting you like hell, they talk about them everywhere, and the other half is beating them, and there's nothing you can do about that. we got to see it through, and you're going to see it through, and when it comes down to election, the American people don't see it through. Now, what's poverty they giving us so much like trouble about? What's poverty giving us so much trouble about? Well, poverty is not giving you too much, or all of it isn't. The Head Start program is pretty popular. The uh, your, uh, core camps, the job core job core camps like that, and that down in St. Petersburg, and one out here somewhere in Kentucky, Indiana, well, I get more letters about those. They pick up a little piece out of the paper. Well, but they're well, costing six, seven, seven thousand dollars, and they've all got in town some night and had eighteen of them arrested, getting drunk, and they just raise hell about that. <laughs> well, that's right, but you can keep them boys getting drunk. It's well, I, I didn't. I'm not trying to keep them getting drunk. I'm just telling you about <laughs> about starting the mail. <laughs> well, I, I never was for the camps. I, I thought the CCC camps were out of date. Outdated. I think they're outmoded. I don't. I don't think that they. Well, if you want to do this, I'm going to tell Mike Lamar tomorrow. He's got a plan for taking some anyway. But I'm going to I'm going to tell him that the reps are off now. And you said every man has got a hard pecker and a strong back and a weak mind. As far as you're concerned, he can get him up to bed. Yeah, yeah. Working with yeah, us. yeah. He can draft him. Well, I'm going I'm to go home tomorrow, and I'll see you when I get back. And I just wanted to kind of get my marching orders. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I understand. <laughs> I enjoy well, always you're the damn greatest prober that the world's ever seen. I always enjoy talking you to you. Probe around and you say, well, I, I just want to get an idea. I want to pick his brain a little bit. That's right. I do. I do. And I'm, I'm picking a good one now. I'm no, a, no, uh, no, stud no, duck. No, I, I I've been worn out. I I've been benefiting by your wisdom for many, many years, Mr. Russell. Well, mine is old worn out, Mr. President. No, Don't no. spend on it at all. Thank you, my friend. I'll call you. Have a nice time. I'll call you and get back. I want you to go down on the boat some night. Right. You, you can go out the boat now when it gets warm, can't you? Yes, sir. Be happy to. All right. Good night. Bye.